YouTube, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So we're just waking up. Uh, we got in last night at about 10 o'clock last night. But uh, actually, you guys probably don't know where we are. So is that red truck back there looking familiar to y'all? Does it? Yes, we are at Just Truckin's Lake House. He was uh, kind enough to, uh, he heard that we were coming out this way. And he was like, just go stay at the lake house. I was like, really? He was like, yeah, yeah, just, here's the address. I was like, oh, here's the code. I was like, oh, okay, cool, appreciate that. And so we're here hanging out, it is beautiful. We're probably gonna take the kids down here to the lake in a little bit, just to walk around. But I did not see how he gets his 18-wheeler up here. Like, how in the world? I don't know. I had a hard time getting up here in my, uh, in the, uh, in the car. But, but yeah, it is beautiful out here, y'all. The weather is nice. It's chilly, but it's tolerable. But the air out here is clean because the lake is literally right there. And so, like I said, we're just waking up, trying to see what we're going to get into today. You probably know what we're getting into today due to the title of this video, but we don't know what we're getting into today. Originally, we were going to go up to uh, Morganton, North Carolina to go look at a, uh, I guess I'll tell y'all. We were going to look at a, I think it was a 99 uh, W900, 72-wind sleeper. Uh, it's got a cat in it. And then we we're also going to go look at a, uh, a cab over for sale. A Freightliner cab over. It's got a cat in it. Y'all know my dream truck is one with a... Um, is one with a Detroit, a cab over with a Detroit. So this one had a cat in it. So it wasn't my dream, complete dream truck, but it is what it is. But um, our schedules did not work out to go see uh, those trucks. We had a conflict in scheduling. So we're not gonna go see those on this trip, but um, later on in the trip, we are gonna go look at another truck. The other truck we're gonna go look at is a, uh, it's for a fleet. It's for, a, when we start our fleet, it'll be, it'll be for that. The W900 or the cab over would have been for me to drive. I already talked to Landstar about both of those trucks, about leasing it on the Landstar. And they both and they said, uh, I would have to do some configurating with the truck, but they would allow me to lease it on. But um, but yeah, like I said, we had a conflict of schedule. So we're not gonna go look at that one. But um, we are gonna go look at the uh, the other truck for the uh, the fleet. And so, but yeah, we're just waiting. Well, I said we've just been awake. We're, we've been awake. We're just now getting ready, you know, showered up and everything. But uh, big shout out. Actually, let's go take a look at the truck. Yeah. I've been standing here. I know I know. y'all want to see the truck. I know. There she is. Looky there. There she is. Beautiful, beautiful truck, y'all. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Gives me some hope for my Dodge, right? But anyway, uh, big shout out to Just Trucking. Um, like I said, he just said, hey, here's the address. Go hang out there. I said, oh, okay, cool. So we were able to get a good night's sleep because the hotel we were in, we were not able to get a good night's sleep. Like the past couple of hotels, we were not able to get a good night's sleep. So uh, we were actually really comfortable here. So. Uh, we're well, we're, we're well, we are well rested. I said it five times fast. We are well rested and uh, ready to hit the road. And like I said, we'll see what we're getting into today. Um, but like I said, y'all probably seen on the title of the video. But you guys, uh, let's actually see what the family's got going on inside. together is this your phone charger in here no, it's, it's not okay
what's up, fussy man? What's up? All right, guys, so we are here looking at a 2015 International Pro Star for sale. So I do hear an air leak back here near the leveler. And I've already looked up under the hood. I've already been here for a minute, but I hear air leak coming from under the hood definitely need to get a detail done cosmetically guys it's really good shape needs a detail but Huh? This oh, the rock. Do nothing, right? Nah, nah, that's all right. Need to get a radio. There's one right here, though. Taken care of. Like I said, we've been here for a while looking at it. And uh, cosmetically, it's in sound shape. Um, it does need a few little things done to it. Nothing major. I mean, I do know a brilliant international mechanic. So, so let's see if the, uh, okay, the air works back in the back. That's the heat that works. Easy fix.
All right, y'all, so we just went <coughs> and looked at the truck. Um, so we're leaving from looking at the truck. And uh, I think we're gonna do it. So I talked to uh, our mechanic, y'all know Brad. Y'all know Brad is an international mechanic. Uh, specializes in those trucks. The truck obviously has a Cummins, not a Max Force. I know y'all are gonna ask. Uh, not a Packard, but it's got the Cummins engine in it. It's got a little over 600 grand on the dash. So uh, I already talked to Brad about it. Now there's a few little, one of them could be a big issue, but nothing we can't that Brad can't handle. Uh, and with my uh, Lone Star price, Lone Star Texas Ranger price, uh, but nothing we can't handle. But um, we're thinking that we're gonna go ahead and get it. And so we're probably going to go out there in the next few weeks. I'm gonna have to book a flight out there to go get it. And then uh, get it up there to North Carolina to Brad. Have him uh, put his magic touch on it. And then uh, put a driver in it. That's the plan as of now. Um, not having the overhead is definitely going to um, be beneficial. So we will um, be able to be a blessing to somebody else and put somebody else in that truck. And so we're not going to go through payroll and all that kind of stuff as of right now, but um, we'll get this truck first, see how this one goes. And if this one goes well, we're going to be looking at these like these cash trucks. I know I'm anti-automatic. Well, I'm, I won't say anti-automatic, but I don't, I don't prefer an automatic truck. And I know that uh, International is not my favorite brand. And I know that Cummins is not my favorite motor. But for the price and the deal that we're getting for this truck, I really can't pass it up. So shout out anonymous person for reaching out to me on this truck. Um, like I said, it's definitely gonna be a blessing to us, but it's gonna be more of a blessing to somebody else that we can put into that truck. And so we're gonna lease that truck on to Landstar. Even if I don't stay with Landstar, we're gonna keep that truck on with Landstar, put somebody in it teach them how to dispatch themselves and uh, that way they can be kind of self-sufficient and if they want to be able to run a truck themselves they, they learn how to do it and uh, so with it being a you know a cash truck we won't have the same overhead as somebody else if the truck is just sitting it's just sitting you know but it does need some repairs but for the price we're getting it for we really can't beat it at all uh, so what you think about it I think it looks good. Uh, I mean, I'm not looking at it from the mechanical point of view because I don't know very much about that. But uh, it, it looks like it's in it's in decent condition. And if you say that you would run, fix it up. Then... I'm not doing nothing. Brad's gonna be doing all that. Yeah, I just I just get a, I just get a phone call when it's done. <laughs> and uh, I said cosmetically, that truck is in really good really yeah. good shape. You're gonna have to wait. Be yeah, cosmetically, it's in really good shape. It needs a few little things here and there, but nothing. You know, we can't handle. I like the little people. The what? Oh, oh no, yeah. Oh, that's like for people yeah. can tell me to get that for my trip. I just don't like it. But it's yeah. So we were gonna test drive it, but it's stuck in the mud. So uh, I'll be booking another flight out here, and we'll get down to nitty gritty and see what we think about it. But yeah, guys, so we're possibly, it's a pretty good chance that we're getting our first fleet truck. I'm excited. Like you said, I'm, I'm mostly excited that we'll be able to bless somebody. Right. And uh, just like help them. The, the person that we're, we're considering, am I able to say, am I like <laughs> The person that we're considering is also very family, family, family oriented and I just want to be able to provide for his family and you know be there for them and all of that and I love that we'll be able to, to right. help help him cultivate that so right. well, yeah guys uh, seems like uh, things might be moving in the right direction so it, it'll be a couple of weeks until we can get back out here to, and seal the deal on it he keeps saying but, we but it's just gonna be him yeah, <laughs> yeah. it would make sense to drive a car out here in yeah. both of us so we'll just I'll just fly out here Get up there to Brad, he do what you gotta do to it, and then we uh, get it on back. Guys, if you didn't already know, Brad is such good people. Yeah. If you, like, 
watched Fidel's video, he took care of Fidel too. Yeah. I wouldn't even have done that, but the fact that Brad, that's right there. The fact that Brad decided to uh, look out for Fidel says a lot. Yeah, yeah. I love that. You don't, you don't, you don't yeah, if y'all need a mechanic, hit up Brad. Brad is good people. He's not going to lie to you about nothing. He's going to be straightforward. Yeah. You know, he's going to make sure that uh, and he gets the job done. We'll be doing a lot more content with Brad as we get that uh, that pro star situated. I don't know. I might go out there and help him that we can get some content for it. And then uh, I need to get that FID out there too so he can put his magic touch on that too. But yeah, but yeah. Big shout out to Bearded Diesel Guy. Hopefully, he can, Actually, hopefully he can get a few videos out of his channel working on his truck yeah. but uh and then even brad brad y'all and we pulled up to the convention center to get in uh we had pulled up behind him and that man paid for our parking to get in and the convention <laughs> center was charging like 15 or 20 bucks to get in it was, no, it was 12 12 dollars to get in and we pulled up to the gate she's like oh no the guy in the red pickup paid for it already I said, come on now brad i can pay for my own parking now well yeah really good that people just, that just tells you his character though. yeah and make sure the kids are taken care of for the truck show. Yeah. You know, and him and Amanda, you know, really good, uh, straightforward people. Yeah. People you want to keep in your corner. So if you're ever in the Greenville, North Carolina area, and you need some work done to your truck, for sure, for, for sure, <laughs> hit up, uh, for sure, <laughs> hit up Bearded Diesel Guy. Um, I think I have the link to his channel down there in my description, so y'all go comment on one of his videos or on his video. Uh, if y'all know Brad, you see him on the Facebook group all the time. Link down there in the description. Um, yeah, y'all, we might be uh, getting our first fleet truck. I'm so we gotta put some work in. We're gonna have to simultaneously. It's gonna be hectic the next couple of weeks. We we'll get this FLD situated and get that uh, that Pro Star situated uh, simultaneously. But like I said, it's gonna be a lot of work, but nothing we can't handle. And you know, look up the list for trucking shows coming up this year. And it is, it's freaking ridiculous. So, and then the semi casual show, the Mayberry show, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, a large guitars, large cars and guitars, something like that. Uh, guitars and large cars, whatever that is. Um, a lot of shows, the Houston Truck Show, uh, Old Town Breakdown in Nacogdoches, Texas. There's a bunch of truck shows coming up this year, too. So. I'm going to try to find a balance between all of it, but nothing like I said, we can't handle. We're going to pace ourselves. But we're finally in a position to where we can move on to the next step. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and, and push forward and get to where we need to get. So a big shout out to Just Trucking also for uh, letting us stay at the lake house. That was so I was nice. not expecting that at all. Yeah. We were trying to link up with them. We were going to link up with him, but his uh, youngest son is uh, is real sick. And so uh, it ended up not working out. This would be great for him. Yeah. And then the cab over, we were looking at, uh, it's a conflict of schedule. The W900, conflict of schedule. But uh, this one for sure worked out. Almost a conflict of schedule, but we were going to wait on that Pro Star. We were going to make that one work. But uh, everything's all situated now, so we're on I-20. I'm going to jump on uh, 85. Uh, once I get to Montgomery, jump on 65 and take that on down to I-10 and we'll be back home after this trip. So, long trip. Definitely made some really good connections at Matt's. Uh, got some really good business cards. Uh, got some good connections that are going to be utilized for the FLD and the Pro Star and our business. Um, and y'all know how this thing works. Like Whatever is beneficial to us is going to be beneficial to y'all too. So, but shout out to Iowa Customs. Um, who else? Gentry, Tim Gentry. Content coming soon with uh, old Tim Gentry, old Timmy G. Uh, Just Trucking. Shout out, big shout out to him. Uh, who else? FSC Trucking. Big shout out to him. He was definitely a big plug at the show. Uh, Steve. Uh, who else? Uh, Semi Casual. Big shout out to them as well. Uh, Mighty Products, big, huge shout out to them. Um, who else did we run into out there that was, they got us all plugged in. Um, 
Oh, Stuntman, shout out to you. Uh, JLR3, big shout out to you guys. Fidel, half a shout out to you. Uh, Zeke Dog, big shout out to you and your wife for coming out. Um, I could have sworn it was somebody else. Last night. Oh, you Timberwolf. Know, you know who, who I was really impressed with? Huh. Um, I, don't, I mean, I was, I was, I, it was exciting meeting all of all of them. But the two guys, one was Frank, and I, I couldn't, I didn't catch the other guy's name. But they are, uh, they're doing videos on. Like, oh, the 34 hour reset. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love that. yeah. Yeah, we'll be linking up with you guys pretty soon. Yeah. Big shout out to you guys coming out to the booth. But yeah, Timberwolf. Um, when we went out to go to crowd and everything. He was looking for his phone. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that's right, yeah. Sorry. But, uh, but yeah, guys, definitely, uh, math was definitely well worth it. It was a lot of money spent on this trip. If y'all only knew. We were able to cut some corners with some Landstar discounts. Shout out to Landstar. Even Landstar feeding us. Yeah, I was so good to that. Breakfast and lunch. Um, then Justin fed us at the, uh, the media spot. Took us to uh, the, the I, influencer I've had room. Some yeah. That, so. And then you and uh, T Dub have been in contact. Yeah, she's so sweet. So we definitely uh, got some stuff going. And then if y'all haven't checked out uh, Laura's channel, We the Spencer Family, she got some really good content, some footage for Matt's. Um, I try, I try. You know, but we definitely, <laughs> uh, definitely a beneficial trip. Yeah, it was, it was very fruitful, a very, very blessing filled. Getting to see people behind the scenes. Yeah, it was great. It was really great. That was cool. Yeah, but yeah, guys, we're uh, building a network. So, anybody in the way? Stop it. Anybody in the way? Y'all better, y'all better sit down. Y'all better sit down. Cause we're coming through full force. I mean, we're gonna bump our head a few times here and there, but hey, you know, it's all a part of the uh, of the process. So, it's a, definitely a learning curve for us dispatched music teachers before but we never dispatched truckers outside of myself so um it's definitely gonna be something new for us yeah truck the music lessons yeah but uh but but just yeah. using dispatch and then the music lessons that's what it basically was dispatch yeah. you got this lesson here you got that there yeah it's basically dispatch but uh but yeah like i said we're gonna bump our head a few times but with y'all's prayers encouragement and hate it'll uh definitely get us through it but uh like, i'm excited about getting out there but uh you know, tim gentry and learning a thing or two about this detroit engine it's gonna be interesting yeah i'm excited yeah. I, I just know tim is home you gonna bring me with you on that one uh, if y'all want to come uh, actually his uh kids will get along we go around. they got plenty of property i just took they sold that house for us yeah, y'all. Yeah. It's uh, we got some things moving. And so when I say there's stuff going on behind the scenes, like just know it's more, it's a lot more than it's shown on the videos a lot of times. And then uh, FSC, I need to get some things moving because he wants to uh, collab as well. And so. Uh, and I, and I know in a sense we're kind of, it, especially with like updating the the truck and whatever. There's like a rush to it, but. Really, we got to practice some patience every once in a while because everything that is worth waiting for is worthwhile, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, even the truck bill, there's some things we had to wait for on that. Like, mats, we had to wait on I mats. I mean, we could have rushed it. Yeah, we could have. It would have been smart. Yeah. If we would have rushed it and built that truck, we would have missed out on some things at mats. Some yeah. things that people have been wanting to contribute to the truck. And we wouldn't have been able to give the truck its full potential. So because we waited on this trip, spent all this money on this trip. Uh, not to mention lost is your, revenue. Is your pocket brand in yeah. <laughs> and not to mention lost revenue from this trip. But definitely an investment. Because YouTube has become a business. So it's time to take it serious. But not a long video today, just kind of short, straight to the point. But uh long video is coming soon. 
Yeah, guys, we're just passing through uh, Atlanta. I'm jumping on 85 South now, off of I-20. Right here at the 75-85 split. And uh, probably stop somewhere in like Mobile, Alabama. Try to get down there and finish out the last eight hours uh, tomorrow. And then uh, we're gonna get started on that FLD. Gotta put, put a few things in order first, but once we get those things knocked out, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put in some work. I hope I surprise you guys with some of the things I want to do. Even though Shimon was trying to give away all my secrets. What, the lies? What, 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 what? No, just, just with the one that one person. Yeah. He said he wouldn't tell them. Yeah, well, I don't know what it was. <laughs> but alright y'all, we'll catch y'all on the next one. So we got a long drive home. And then it's time to get to work, time to get our hands dirty. So. I'm probably gonna start with the exterior of that truck and then work our way to the interior. I got a buddy of mine that's a carpenter. And so uh, we're gonna get with him and collab with him and get the inside of that truck fixed. So y'all stay tuned. We'll catch y'all in the next one. And uh, comment down below if you have any ideas or uh, criticism, constructive criticism <laughs> or uh, you know, any uh, input y'all wanna give. So uh, tune in at noon. I don't know when I'm posting next because of this trip, but y'all y'all know where we're at. So tune in for the next one, and we'll catch y'all later.